Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. It's coming on 1 a.m. where I'm at. I debated doing this video, but decided I really wanted to. And I've had a couple of beers, and that was what made me question whether I should do it. But at the same time, well, I'll say alcohol just, you know, it reduces your inhibitions. And I thought this is the perfect time to do this. I got word just this evening that one of the patients in uh, the infirmary got sent to the hospital. He is COVID positive. He, he already ha is in extremely poor health without this. And I don't care who you are. You take care of somebody. You see them on a frequent basis, if not daily, several times a week. You know, over two years, more than two years, and you gain an emotional attachment, especially to somebody that is medically fragile, that is vulnerable. You care about them. I have so much of a problem with you people that claim that uh, COVID is a hoax or you make excuses for why you want to put money money ahead of human lives. I want nothing to do with you. You're worthless. You are worthless as a human being. You really are. You, I, I know some of you are going to say, well, he's just an inmate. Oh, he's a criminal. You don't know what his crime is. Neither do I. I don't look it up. What somebody is in there for, I don't look it up. Look at the justice, you know, project. Look how many inmates are get released because there was no evidence that they were guilty in the first place. Every day you hear about people that are released from prison that were, there was no evidence they were innocent of the charges against them. Decades in prison. I care about this. I care about this. Look how many inmates are in prison for nonviolent drug crimes. Just nonviolent crimes. Uh, you're okay with it. You're okay with it. As long as it justifies how you feel to put human lives, to put money over human lives. The reason I don't look up what a person is in there for is because I never want that to affect my judgment, not even potentially. I never want to be able to look back and say, did I hold back on what I did for this person? No. I don't care if you are the my worst enemy. 
the worst person on this planet as a nurse the care that you will receive from me is always going to be the same it is going to be the absolute utmost of what I can do you will never nobody well no patient of mine has ever been able to question whether I cared about well no rational patient <laughs> has ever been able to question whether I cared about their well-being oh sure I've had the ones that were drug seeking that the only damn thing they cared about was drugs I've had ones that I've had plenty of patients that were narcissistic and you know it was all about what they wanted not about what was medically appropriate but otherwise every patient I have had in 26 years has always known that what I did was the right thing it was for their absolute benefit so I can't count how many people I've seen die this year this has only been topped by the two and a half years that I spent working with AIDS patients in the mid 90s at the height of the pandemic before the antivirals came out before the the so-called miracle drugs and to hear to listen to you people that want to make this a ho claim that this is a hoax I don't have any tolerance for you. I don't have any respect for you. You don't deserve any respect. Especially the ones that are, your views are all, and that's the majority of you, your views are based entirely on capitalism. And capitalism in and of itself is an abusive suppressive, oppressive, brutal, uncaring system. And you let that make you have the same characteristics. Brutal, uncaring, narcissistic, greedy you need to look at yourself as a human being you need to look in the mirror and look at yourself as a human being because to me you're not worth shit you know, this isn't alcohol talking this is me talking. If you talk to me tomorrow, I'm still going to tell you you're not worth shit. You are shit. You're lower than shit. When you just don't care, you just don't care. I've got nothing for you. So you can unfriend me, you can unfollow me. I don't care. Don't respond to this. I don't want to hear your words. You don't want the responses I'm going to give you. Because I am going to analyze you. I am going to tell you who you are. Down to the letter. I can describe you. I know everything that you're about. It's time for you to know what you're about. It's time for you to admit what you're about. You're not a human. You're not humanistic. You don't give a shit about anybody but you. 
you and your anti-mask, you know, don't want to wash your fucking hands after going to the bathroom, nasty ass bitch. I got nothing. You're nasty. You're... I care about people. I care about people I've never met. What about you? You care about your stock portfolio. You still care about, you know, whether you're missing out on a few hours of pay. I care about people not for the pay, but is for what is related to that. People that are hungry, people that are at risk of going homeless. That's all caused by capitalism. You don't have any defense for this. You've got no defense. But you're still going to try and use it. I don't give a shit whether you share this video. I don't care whether you discuss these subjects. This, these are my feelings. This is how I feel. I don't give a fuck if you donate a dollar a month. This is me. I'm going to bed. And... Hope that I can put this out of my mind, but I doubt it. I, I've seen too many deaths. And at times it catches up to me. This is one of those times. This was unnecessary. But you're fine with unnecessary deaths as long as you can... Make money off of your stock portfolio for the drug companies, for the military contractors. You don't care. But I do. Bye.